Hi, this is Matt from PastaRecipesMadeEasy.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you the Marcato Atlas Pasta Machine. This is a manual pasta roller machine. It's called the Atlas 150, and it's the direct competitor to another machine I talk about on my site, which is the Imperial 150. So let's have a look at the machine. If you follow me down here, when you buy the Mercato Atlas 150, you get this. This is the main machine. It comes supplied with four pieces, basically. This is the main machine. You have this detachable handle. You have down here, further down, you have a, a hook which clamps you onto the surface of a worktop so that the machine doesn't wobble around when you're making things. And secondly, just like the Imperia, you have this added extra, which is a double cutter for making fettuccine, roughly fettuccine size, and, and spaghetti thinner long pasta. So both long pasta shapes. This just slots easily onto the machine. The whole thing is very, very solid, feels very bomb-proof, just like the Imperia. And the theory is that you make your fresh pasta, you roll it out a little bit with a manual rolling pin, and then you put the sheets through this main smooth roller section to make them thinner and then when they're thin enough you drop them here through the cutters and what else can I tell you there's there's nine settings over here just look at this end this is your roller for changing the the width of the main settings unlike the Imperia you pull this one out to wiggle it around which at first feels like a little bit maybe even flimsy but I've used it a lot I've had no problems at all so it's quite um, it's, it's not really true to say that it is flimsy, it just feels a bit strange after you use the Imperial at first. But that seems to work really well, so we'll just, next step, I'll just show you running some of the pasta through the machine. So here we have um, a section of, I've been making wholemeal pasta today, where you use half of regular plain flour or type 00 and half uh, wholemeal flour. What we're going to do is run this a couple of times through the main rollers to get it thin enough and then we're going to chop it into a fettuccine. So I've got the setting on three out of nine here to get started. We're going to wind that in. And you can see the motion with the Atlas is super smooth. It's really very high quality stuff with the rollers. Even more so I would say than the Imperia that I have. So that's already doubled the length. We're now going to jump this up to six out of nine. I found works for the thickness I want for fettuccine. Just run that through again. I'm doing this so you can see from the opposite side to normal. So I would normally be a bit smoother than this. There we go, it's through. And obviously the more you roll, the longer, the thinner it gets. So the longer it gets and it takes a little moment longer to go through. So there we go. So we've now got some much, much thinner. I'm just going to pop this on, on the surface and chop it in half because you, you can have fettuccine that are too long. Which means now we just take the handle out of the main roller section, add it into the cutters, and we're just doing the same again. So we're dropping it through these cutters. And there's only one pass required for this. This will turn it straight into your, your long pasta shapes. Show these, these come out of the back, and then we're just going to pop these on a plate of a lightly floured plate or a work surface or a pasta drying rack. You can find some of those on my site reviewed. And there you see some fresh fettuccine, which is going to be delicious with a, a nice primavera sauce.